Hello there, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'll be making an 80s um, wagon. I think I'm going to be making it kind of like a German wagon, maybe like a Audi, I don't know, 5000, or a Volkswagen Passat, something like that. I kind of think, I'm thinking of making it like a competitor to the, like the Volvo 850, or Volvo 240 or something. So, yeah. Sorry, I haven't been recording for a while. Uploading anything. I guess just ta kind of taking a break. But also, I've got done, I've been doing quite a lot of things. And this is the body. I'm going to be doing more automation videos than my summer car videos because, um, these seem to get more views and more people like to see them, see automation videos than my summer car. I'll still be doing my summer car videos unless you guys tell me that you don't want to see any more my summer car videos and yeah. But anyway, so this is the body we're choosing and yeah, so gonna get to the time lapse and make this car. So gonna head to the time lapse. So, I decided to make it a inline 5. I made it an injection. And yeah, it made about 130 kilowatts of power, a little over 200 newton meters of torque. Um, I'll let this. let the. let you hear it. Yeah, so that's the engine. Sounds pretty cool. Um, it's a five-seater. I decided to give it a premium interior, but a standard um, uh, thing my bob. I don't know. Decided to make the uh, the suspension a little squishy. In BMG Drive, it it is a little squishy. I wish I'd made it a little bit stiffer, but yeah. It was a five-speed manual, and yeah, it's, it was pretty fast, I guess, kind of fast, a little over 200 top speed. Um, so this is, I'm just making the front right now. I think, I don't think it was the best, but it, it was pretty good. I like, I like it. The front, yeah, the front's pretty good, but the back, uh, it, they could do with a bit something a bit better, but yeah, the front is. I think it's pretty good. I quite like the front. So I'm just doing the back right now. I'm trying. I'm. I just build kind of my own lights, which is probably why it doesn't look so good because I was just trying to build my own. It looks all right, but it's like not the best, and uh, bursting lights don't work. I didn't know what else to put in the back because. I don't know. I just didn't know what to fit on there. So the back is a little bit too. I think that the back just needs something a little bit extra. But it's not too bad. Yeah. So. I do design an interior. And I just do a basic one. I do the five seats and just a floor bit and a dash. Decided to name it the Hazel Centaur. And the trim is just the SM. And yeah, so I think it turned out pretty good. If you'd like me to come up with some name brands or whatever to maybe come up with some sort of lore just to add some something like fun or something, whatever, just come up with some cars, have a couple of brands and some, like, they make multiple vehicles of for some lore. Be good. Maybe you can mention the name of some car, maybe like an American car company. And then we just come up with lore along the way. Or maybe a European, maybe it's like a German car company or a Japanese car company. I don't know. I have a couple of stuff. But yeah. So the car turned out pretty good, and yeah. 
quite like it. So I'll let the rest play out and see you in a sec. Okay guys, I'm back and this is what I've come up with. I think it looks pretty good. I quite like it. Named it the Hazel Centaur SM. Stands for standard model. It came out pretty good. Quite decent. So yeah. I guess I'll take it to BeamNG Drive. Give it a test there. I quite like the front. For some reason I quite like it. There's a couple of bits I'll change about it that I don't know. I don't know what to add to the back. The back is not that good. It's a little bit more, but I don't know what to add. So yeah, but the front does look good and the side it looks not too bad. I did add a little bit of an interior, just very basic and yeah. So I guess I'm gonna take it to BeamNG Drive and do a test drive there. So I'll see you guys when I get into BeamNG Drive. Okay guys, back in. We're in BeamNG Drive. And it looks like it exported pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Sound too bad. So let's give this ten sets manual. Not too bad. Oh, the suspension is a little too squishy. Could be a bit, just a little bit stiffer. It's actually not too bad, but could be a little bit stiffer. It's not bad. I guess. Just needs a bit higher. Just uh, suspension. A bit higher ride height. to be the super, super sporty. I think there would be a sport model like the Volvo there's an 850R instead of just a normal 850. Yeah, this would make a good competitor to the Volvo I think. Good. 
not the fastest, but it's pretty good. It's all wheel drive, so it's easier to control. do donuts because it's a all-wheel drive vehicle. It's not bad though. We're, we're pulling a little bit. Let's just be sitting there. I forgot about adjusting the ratio of the all-wheel drive system. For a station wagon, yeah. For a station wagon, the brakes weren't too bad because this is just pretty heavy steel. It's not too fast, but it's not too slow, I guess. Let's head over to the racetrack and let's just do a lap. Um,
Okay, let's do a lap of the circuit. We're just gonna do one lap. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And here we go. Just gonna load. Here we go. Let's start. Let's go. Well, I have pretty good grip because it's all wheel drive. I did give it long life tyres, so the hard long life tyres, which means I have a little less grip, but. this one. And that so it's not that good. It's not too bad I guess. And it could definitely be better though. Definitely could be better. I think it was pretty good. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be doing more automation videos. I'll try to keep uploading. Um, I think I wanna start adding some lore to like, I don't know, cars I make. Make certain companies. Have like certain company names that I make a few cars off some lore just to make it more interesting and so I don't have to keep coming up with names every time I make a new car for a video but yeah so like and subscribe and yeah see you guys next time bye